what was that just now? Weren't those the Persona users in Inaba? It showed Mitsuru-senpai and the others, too. I read the case records. If I recall correctly, was that the Midnight Channel that was being broadcast in Inaba? I was on it, too. But it wasn't like that last time. Chan? General Teddy? But but I thought I already <laughs> There's no way I'd go away so easily. I mean a P1 without me is like a tuna sandwich without the tuna! He can hear us? Isn't he that weird persona user named Teddy? No, he must be the General Teddy who hosted the fighting tournament last time. The record said he'd been eliminated, though. General Teddy, where did you take Mitsuru-san and the others? If you don't give us a good answer, you're gonna pay! <laughs> it's past your bedtime, Cubby. If you're gonna keep giving me lip, I'm not going to explain anything. Explain? That's right. I mean... The three of you are very important guest stars in the P1 Climax, after all. So you'll participate, of course, right? What? What are you after? <laughs> if you value the lives of the hostages, you yapping pup, you, you don't, don't have, have any, any choice, choice but, but to participate. participate. Huh? <laughs> the P1 Climax! It's the end of the world! One-on-one -on -one deathmatch that's worthy of the name Climax! And best of all, if you don't win the one-on-one -on -one tournament to the finish within the hour, the world will end! No punches pulled this time! I'll make myself clear so that no one misunderstands. This will not be taking place within the TV world. It will, in fact, Take place in the reality which you occupy. Enjoy it while you can. Alrighty then. Time to show off how that special stage is going. Suru senpai Sonata-san. Aiga-san and Fuka-san, too! <laughs> what will be the fate of our captured queen and her loyal minions? Oh, and this is a no-fly zone. We don't have any room in the parking lot for that thing, so you'd better start walking to the battleground. As a little incentive... Bersona! Kintoki Doji! Throw him a tomahawk! An alarm? No. There really is a missile coming our way. Evasive maneuvers. Brace yourselves. A missile? We hit? It barely missed, but there's a good chance that it will still detonate. It exploded! Wait, it's a firework? Uh, he obviously missed on purpose. It was most likely fired from the direction of Inaba. Is he trying to start a war or something? Wait, what is that? There's something in the distance. It's huge! I 
I'll zoom in. No way. This is just like... Tartarus. I'm sorry to do this, but I have to withdraw before we're shot down. But we've come so far! If they fire another one at us, I won't be able to dodge again. Even if it's only a firework, a direct hit can still bring us down. Hold on, Kikuro-san. Can you drop low enough somewhere so we can get out? There's no way. If we land, we'll be sitting ducks. No, once we're out, you'll get out of here. You don't need to land. What are you saying? Please, do it. Don't worry. Remember, General Teddy asked us to come on foot. We'll manage somehow. Understood. I'm looking for a landing site. There appears to be a large shopping center nearby. Labrasan, please take this. It may be of use. It contains the data that was taken from the Ergonomics Research Laboratory's top secret files. The creator's name is Shuji Ikutsuki. The file name was Project Puppet Master. I'm not entirely sure if that's a code or a description of the project. Puppet Master? Could that be something to do with me and I guess? I was only able to decrypt a portion of it, but it seems to be data on an experiment involving a plume of dusk. An experiment with a plume of dusk? So, why are you giving this to me? It may assist you in determining the enemy's identity. Actually, I found traces of an unauthorized attempt to access this file from outside of the Ergo Research Network. I investigated this and found that the requests made to break in originated from this vicinity, likely from within Inaba itself. Huh? So someone in Inaba knew about that research before all this started and was looking for it? The firewall prevented the intruder from accessing the file, but the attempted hacker didn't even try to cover their tracks. What? Who would do this? It was only in fragments, but the name Sho Minazuki appears many times in those files. Who is he? I'll contact you once we crack the encryption, but in case it becomes difficult to transfer the data to you, I'll give you a copy. Then I'll download that data into myself and take a look at the parts that you've managed to decrypt. That would be for the best. Gotcha. Thanks. We'll be over at Juness shopping center in a moment. Everyone, prepare to disembark. Hold on, over there! Isn't there someone on the rooftop? It's impossible! Huh? What's wrong? It's... Ikutsuki. Huh? No way!
enemy's preparing for another attack. Incoming! My evoker yet. I'll make myself clear so that no one misunderstands. This will not be taking place within the TV world. It will, in fact. Take place in the reality which you occupy. Enjoy it while you can. <laughs> this is fun. What? What was that? Karisan, he's winding up for another one! We're getting off, Koromaru! Seems you're always taking on the responsibility of saving others, Yukari-san. Seriously! It's like, again? Really? But I'll take this one! After all, I save the world on a weekly basis! Son, everyone, please, save Lady Mitsuru. Go. Hey, Kenkun, did you really see Ikutsuki here a moment ago? Yes, I didn't see him clearly, but there's no way I could have mistaken him. That's impossible. I mean, Shuji Ikutsuki is... At the very least, it looks like he's not nearby. We can't let our guard down yet, though. Koromaro and I are going to continue looking for him. If that really was Ikutsuki, there's no doubt that he's involved in this case. That's true. Can you and Koro-chan go after that guy from earlier? But that person seemed to be using a persona. Won't it be dangerous for you two going off on your own? Don't you worry about me and Koromaru. Even if we run into something we can't defeat, we'll find a way out of it. And honestly, it's faster for us to split up. I am a bit worried, but I'm gonna believe in you guys. So I'll head to the station to get Junpei. It didn't seem like he'd figured out the situation yet. Huh? Weren't you talking to him on the phone earlier? I was, but that idiot's phone ran out of batteries or something while we were still talking. But even if I can't rely on him to keep his phone charged, he's still good in a fight. So I have to meet up with him. Uh, I see. He seems like kind of a goofball. <laughs> right? He's always been so useless. <laughs> huh? Did I say something funny? Nah, not really. It just sounded like you were actually kind of fond of him. 
Oh, <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, I think you're right. What about you, Labras? What'll you do? Huh? I hope Mitsuru-san and the others are okay. Could you please go right to that tower? We'll head over there too, as soon as we can. Right! It's decided then. Labras, you head to that tower. Oh, also... Hmm? Something felt off when I summoned my persona earlier. You might want to be careful. You felt it too? It was like... well... It felt like the evoker wasn't working, didn't it? Yeah, it might be that we can summon our personas without our evokers. <gasps> In any case, we should get moving. If what General Teddy said is true, we don't have much time to spare. Mm-hmm, got it. If anything happens, let's meet at the bottom of the tower. Be careful, both of you. Wait for us, Mitsuru-san! Now's the time you've all been waiting for. It's obvious who the game's MVP will be. The man whose Grand Slam won it in the night, <laughs> Junpei Iori! Yeah! <laughs> First off, I'd like to congratulate your team on winning the WBC. Thank you very much. What was going through your mind as you entered that batter's box for that last at-bat? My only thought was how I would lead my team to victory. Ah, so it's your great focus that led to this result. Still, that was an amazing home run. All I can say is I got lucky with that hit. That swing at the critical moment, I got so excited I almost forgot to give the play-by-play! -play. The ball went a lot farther than I thought it would. I'm very pleased with the result. Wow! You're so modest! No wonder they call you the ace slugger, Junpei! By the way, is there anyone you'd like to dedicate this victory to? Well, um... <clears throat> I'd like to dedicate that Grand Slam to my precious girl who's always supported me through thick and thin. I know that I can be a burden on you. I'm not the greatest, but... Will you marry me? Yasuo Inaba, huh? end of the line. Yasuo Inaba. Uh, sorry, sir, but this is the end of the line. Oh, uh, oh, I was dreaming. <laughs> oh, it's Yasuo Ina, but wait, where is this? Huh, let's see what the shuttle train schedule is. I've really done it now. If you get a hit, you'll be a hero. Are you gonna try for a home run? Of course I am. You made me the cleanup hitter after all. I'm making this a home run, no matter what. Watch your mouth, kid, or you'll scare the ball away. Now listen up. Don't try to act cool. Just play like you normally would. The team's counting on you. Goro, keep your eye on the ball. You can hit it. The pitcher's totally freaked out. See, a hero doesn't just hit homers all the time. Even if you mess up, there's guys behind you waiting to help. Now loosen up and do your best. Gotcha! Thanks, Junpei. Hey, you're supposed to call me coach, you screwball. Make sure you stay loose.
That was so close, guys. You almost won. All right, let's start practicing again tomorrow. Now, I want you all to remember this at least. If you all work together, you'll never be beat. Okay, we're done for today. Yeah, I'm such an awesome coach. It's really worthwhile volunteering for a kid's team even after working the night shift. <sighs> Man, it's like I'm finally starting to enjoy my youth after all this time. Crab, I'm starting to feel sleepy. How did I just fall asleep like that? I can't believe I slept through so many stops either. Seriously. Well, what the heck am I gonna do now? I guess I better call somebody and hope. Oh. Hello? Finally! Hey, Junpei, what were you doing? I've been calling you this whole time. Oh, hey, Yucatan. Uh, can we uh, not talk about that now? My battery's about to die. Hey, uh, what's that noise in the background? It's super loud. Ah, uh, your phone's about to die? What's wrong with you? Mitsuru Senpai, Akihiko, Fuka, and Igus have gone missing. We're in a helicopter to find them. They're missing? A, a helicopter? We've looked in tons of places for them, but we can't find them. Anyway, where are you right now, Junpei? Um, somewhere called Yasoina something? I fell asleep on the train and missed my stop, and now I'm stuck out in the boonies. <laughs> You're at Yasoina Station? Why? Crap, uh, Yucatan, the battery's going. Uh, fine, just wait there, we'll come get you. I'm with Kenkun and Korochan, and we've got Labras here too. She's Igus' sister. Huh? What was that? Lahu? La well, whatever. I I'll just find a convenience store and... Uh... Nice, just what I wanted. I'm starving too, so maybe I should get myself something to eat. Don't tell me they're closed. What kind of convenience store isn't open 24-7 these days? Oh, there you are, Junpei! Hey, 
Hey, Yucatan! Uh, I'm making an effort at least, so... But hey, Mitsuru Senpai's gone missing? What's going on? <sighs> So, uh, you look great, huh? Is that your, uh, feather pink outfit? Are you doing an autograph tour out here? Come meet the feather men! <laughs> you never shut up, do you? You're nothing but a minor character. A mook, a minion, a loser! Just die and let the world have your body back? Hey, hey, what? Aren't you being crueler than usual? Ugh! It's time for your punishment! Bring, Bring on, on the, the ring! ring! Who the hell are you? I don't know what's going on, so you better explain yourself. If this is some prank show, it's not funny! You really are a yappy idiot! Now let's begin Operation World Destruct- I mean... The one-on-one P1 Climax! P1 Climax? I'm not in the mood to drag this out, so I'll just give a short rundown. The rules are simple. Win and you get to move on, lose and you're stuck here. Huh? You mean I have to fight Yucatan? Oh, you, you really, really are a pain in the ass. ass. If you're, you're not, not gonna, gonna do this, this then hurry up and die. die. Here, here we, we go! Persona! Whoa, 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 hold on, Feather Pink. We, we can talk this out. I mean, you shouldn't be pointing that at people. Ah! Stop, Stop moving around, around Junpei. Junpei. Just, Just give, give up, up now, now and let, let me kill you. you. Ow, what the heck? That's what I said! Only the victor can leave the area! Now hurry up and get this fight started! I, I hope you're prepared! prepared. Face me, evildoer! You're no match for better pink! Strike out better! Desperate times call for desperate measures. How dare you, Featherman! I, Lord Junpei, will strike you down! The Mook wins! Keep that up and keep winning! Who are you calling a Mook? Wait, ah! You contend! <laughs> What was that just now? It wasn't a dream, right? I, I slept a ton on the train, after all. Was that a... a shadow? Is this... did the dark hour come back? But wait a sec. How'd I use my persona without an evoker? Is 
that General Teddy guy behind this? We'd better step barefully. <laughs> Let's see here, which way was it? I know that store. Every day is great. Mm -hmm. No, stop! Hang on, I'm coming. Shadow operative Junpei Iori is on the scene. There appears to be quite a commotion. Um, sister, I've been wondering since yesterday, but what is going on in the outside world? <laughs> I believe you could say that those kids' ordeal is still continuing. An ordeal, you say? Yes. In other words, mankind's potential is being tested. Potential? Sister, where might Elizabeth be right now? Abandoning the duties given to us by our master, and going out into the outside world is normally forbidden to us. Why did Elizabeth go through all that just to head out into the outside world? <sighs> I'm sorry. It was presumptuous of me to ask. I suddenly feel thirsty. Do you feel like drinking a cola? Uh, a cola, you say? My, don't tell me that you don't know what that is. Of course I do! Elizabeth told me about it. An ebon monster compressed into a metal cylinder, waiting for the moment its prison is released to spring into the eyes of the unwary spewing foam! Uh, quite. Well then, I task you with the acquisition of about a hundred of these colas. You want m me to do this? B but cola only exists in the outside world. I merely ask for the cola. How and where you perform your task is at your discretion. Even if it takes you into the outside world. Um, sister. Yes, what is it? While I'm out, may I go see what's going on outside? That would be none of my business. All I asked you to do is go on an errand for me. Shouldn't you hurry? Our master will be returning soon. N yes I'll go at once. I guess it can't be helped that he's drawn to the outside world right now. This current aberrance in the outside world is centered on that red-haired guest. And Persona users have gathered to it, as if caught up in that fate. Even my heart races just thinking about it. It's troublesome having siblings so brimming with curiosity. <laughs> Another dead end. Careful, Karlmaru. At this rate, I wouldn't be surprised if we ran into shadows. Why didn't anyone tell me anything? <gasps> I'm definitely strong enough to fight beside everyone else. Being removed from the unit just because of my age isn't fair. Right? Who's there? And you're irritated about it. Is that me? 
What's the meaning of this? Even if you try to deceive us with those appearances, it's no use. Being a child only on the surface, peaceful only on the surface, friends only on the surface, aren't such things only nuisances? Now shut up! I know how you feel because I'm you. Or to be more precise, I'm a perfect copy based on everything there is to you. That's why I can tell what you're thinking, what dissatisfies you, and how much you desire to fight. So what? What does what I'm thinking have anything to do with you? It does involve me. I mean, you want to fight, don't you? Then we have the same objective. Uh, what? Persona. Kid, what are you walking your dog around here for? And such a goddamn adorable dog, too. Huh? That wasn't what I meant to say. Hurry up and find somewhere safe. Things are dangerous here right now. Y you're. Kanjikun, here comes another. Sukuna Hikuna, go! Kajikun, you were being reckless again. Are you all right? Uh, Naoto, grab the kid and get out of here. I'll take care of this. Bravery and recklessness are not the same thing. We'll do something about this. You're Kenamata, a member of the Shadow Operatives Emergency Special Suppression Unit, correct? And you're Koromaru-san. Please lend us your help. We want to return this town to its normal state. Huh? Shadow Operatives, are you a Persona user too? <gasps> Wait, does that mean the dog's got a Persona too? Ugh, looks like we have some more shitty guests. Fine, whatever, just hurry up and make a decision. Which of you is fighting me? Oh, you don't have to fight, but your captured companions are having their power strain, and things may become irreversible if you don't hurt. What? What are you doing to them? Who knows? Why don't you find out for yourselves? In any case, bring on the ring. Yeah, a barrier! Indeed. It must mean that unless we fight and win, we won't be able to proceed any further. Oh good, you understand. That makes things easier. This will be a one-on-one -on -one battle. Start fighting, start fighting already, already. I, I can't, can't wait, wait any longer. Cut the bullshit, you fake! You just said it was one on one, so what's with the dog? What, this? The mud hardly counts. counts. He's, He's just, just a, a weapon, weapon after, after all. I will. been too conceited. I didn't understand anything at all. Kenku? Naoto, don't butt into this. Comes a time when a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Ken, huh? I got your back, so settle this for yourself! Thank you. I will win this. Let's go, Koromaru! <laughs>
Is this... a shadow? Huh? I thought somebody's shadow was supposed to turn into a persona when you beat it. Kanji-kun, didn't you notice? That wasn't a shadow that came out of Ken-kun. It must have been a fake created to bear his likeness. The most obvious evidence of that is how both fighters were able to summon personas in battle. Defeating your own shadow makes them into your persona? I see. So that's how you acquired the power of personas. Huh? That's not how it went for you guys? Yes, we do things a little differently. In any case, thank you. <laughs> it's fine. <coughs> Kanji-kun, are you alright? I'm sorry. It's my fault that you got hurt. Hey, it's nothing. But, uh, to make up for it... Yes, what is it? You think maybe I could, like, pat you on the back or something? Wh what Oh, wow. This is amazing! Oh my god, he's an albino Shiva! This is totes adorbs! <laughs> Shiva! Oh, you meant Koromaru. Huh? Who else? <laughs> Who's a good dog? Who's got himself a persona? Is it you? Is it you? We don't have time for this, Kanji-kun. Perhaps later. Uh, right. Sorry about that, Koro-chan. There's something I'd like to ask you, Ken-kun. Did you see the Midnight Channel broadcast that came on earlier? The one where Mitsuru-san and her friends were crucified, right? Was that for real? I saw it while we were in the helicopter. We were searching for them after they went missing. I see. And it's quite possible that what was shown on the Midnight Channel was true. I have no conclusive evidence that the video was real, but we ought to consider that it was. If that fake me wasn't lying, then they're in danger. We have to hurry and rescue them. Indeed. Please allow me to get a better grasp of the situation first. Are there any other members of the Shadow Operatives here? There are three of us, including me. Oh, and if we managed to meet up with another one who might be here, that would make four. I came with Yukari-san and Labra-san. It seems that Junpei-san got here on his own as well. We split up at Juness, and we're now on the move separately. Labrasan headed to the tower, and Yukari-san went to find Junpei-san. Koromaru and I are... Um... We're pursuing someone in particular. Someone in particular? Is this person related to the case? I don't know yet, but I'm positive that he attacked our helicopter. I see. Alright then. Is there anything you know about what's happening in this town and that tower that suddenly appeared? Is this reminiscent of the dark hour that you have experience with? That's... You do know something, but it's difficult to explain. Is that accurate? Yes, I'm sorry. I can understand well why you're keeping your lips tight, but... Hey, stop playing hard to get and just spill the beans already. You know you can count on us. Kanji-kun's right. Mitsuru-san and the others are close to us too. They must be saved as quickly as possible. Don't we have the same objective here? And there's no reason that we shouldn't be cooperating with each other. Close to you. I see. So that's what happened. But even the document I read reported that Shuji Akutsuki had died. What is going on here? All right, 
If that's the case, then it'd be fastest if we just charge straight into that tower. Oh! Hold on. We should head to Juness for now. It's possible that the others have gathered there. And your injuries are considerable, Kanjikun. I'll accompany you. Huh? Don't I have any say in? Kanjikun? Uh, fine. What will you do, Kenkun? Coming to Juness with us is one idea. I. Hey, what's the hold up? This should be a no brainer for you. Huh? Your buddies are in danger, so you want to go save them, right? And stop wasting your time thinking about it and go. Kanji san. There's no need to be concerned about us. We'll keep an eye out for anyone resembling Akutsuki on our way to Juness. There's no time. You need to hurry. Once we've met up with our friends, we'll find you again. Thank you. Koromaru and I will head to that tower. Ha! <laughs> That's all you had to say from the start. Careful, though. Another fake might try to jump you like the one here did. Yes, I know. I won't let my guard down anymore. Good! Now get going! Right. Please be careful, you two. Right. 